In this video, I'm going to show you something that few of you might have had a problem with in the past and not realised it. I've got a set of these uh, YPAC LED lights to fit on the 90 and very nice they are too. But I've had a problem. It was the weirdest problem you've ever seen. Let me explain. Let's have a look at the car. Ooh, look at that. I'll put a standard front on just, just for now. Anyway, I thought I'd go crazy at bonkers and while I'm fitting LEDs I'll put the LED side flashes from a Disco 2 or a TD5 or whatever you want to call them into the side markers because they look a lot better than these. You see that's the original. Hmm. However, LEDs go, you wire them the wrong way around. And how you wire these is just a simple little uh, circuit board with a couple of tabs on. And if it doesn't work one way, well, you take it out and put it the other way. Great, no big, no big deal. That's easy. So I've got all, them to, all of the lights to work and all the circuits. But this morning, I noticed, I, I didn't realise at the time last night, because it was, I, I did nine hours on this last night. I was exhausted, I was finished, because I got all my parts in. <clears throat> but I didn't realise that all of the flashes were coming on at the same time. Like, so for example, if you indicated uh, right, the left was coming on as well as the right. So it was like four way flashes, but one side was a bit dimmer than the other. And again, vice versa, you put the left on, the right came on as well as. This caused some frustration. <laughs> four hours it took me to work it out this morning. So I want to tell you something that um, and don't fall into this same mistake. What it is, how I actually traced it down, I traced it down to the light on the dash. It was the dash light. When I unplugged it, everything worked. The left worked, the right worked, but there was no indicator. Put the bulb in, same problem. Hmm, what could it be? You see, how a, a circuit works, for the bulb on the dashboard is you've got a, a green and a red for your left and a green and a white for your right. They both go up to the contact of the bulb. So when you're flashing one side, it grounds through the redundant side that's not working. So the wire goes up, the, the wiring goes through the bulb, through to the ground, but it won't flash because it's, it's going to ground. Quite simple. So I, I, was, I was actually putting a video together this morning and I was going to ask you guys and I was sat down having a cup of tea and I actually thought I'd ring up YPAC. Well, they go home at one o'clock on a Friday. Well, what's the point of opening? Gee, and, and their website's worse than useless. They don't tell you any information whatsoever. So I sat down having a cup of tea and I thought about it and I thought about it long and hard. How am I going to ground that bulb? Well, I worked it out. You see, the y pack kit doesn't come with, the, with these side flashes. These are, these are different. These are like 25 quid for a pair. They were quite expensive. And these are made in Germany. Uh, so, how I fixed the problem was this. It needs at least one per side of an incandescent bulb in. Let me show you. Let me unplug this one. Let me put the lights on and unplug that and put this on. All right, so that's that side working. Because it's got a bulb in the other side. Right, so I'm going to plug these LED lights in these side flashes, Let's see if we can get these to work. I'll do this real time so you can figure it out for yourself. Right, here we go. Now that's working. But you see, look, 
They're both working, both sides. Now, this one on this side, if you can see, I don't know, let's just see. I'll zoom in a bit. I love the, doing these live things because it's like you guys being in my shop. See, this one's not working, so all you do is change the polarity around. Hey, presto, it'll work. But notice how, notice it's a little bit duller. And this side, see this one's really bright. That one's sort of <laughs> dull. But watch what happens. So I've got at the moment, let me have a look. Right, I've got left hand flasher working at the moment. Sorry, I'm all over the place now. Here. Yeah. So I've got left hand flasher working at the moment. Let me take this out and put a bulb in, watch what happens. See, it's still flashing here. Put a bulb in. That works, it works as normal. Let's try it vice versa. Let's take this one out. See, that's working. And that's working. I had the hazard switch apart. I changed the uh, stalk. I was trying to work it out. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is this, if you're going to put these LED kits in, you need at least one incandescent bulb, at least one in the circuit somewhere. So, hmm, bit of a problem, I've already cut the hole now for the light. Well, it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> I'm going to swap these lights over for my disco, <laughs> and I'm going to put the disco ones in here and we should have it all working. Let me go and get them. They're a little bit tight, you have to push them in a bit hard, but they'll go in. Look at that. Oh, they're a different bloody size as well. Anyway, we're not bothered about that. What we're bothered about is that we've got some indicators on. Look at that. Aren't they the bee's knees, eh? So, we've got a We've got the lights all working. See, got no problems there now. So, moral of the story, even if you want to upgrade to all LEDs, on this particular circuit, we've got to have an incandescent bulb in. Hmm, now, that only took me four hours to work out. It's possible, excuse me, it's possible to, to fix and, and rectify, but uh, they don't tell you that on the box, do they? Oh well, keep smiling, more to come, talk to you later, bye. <laughs>